hey girl hey good morning happy monday morning today is june 5th and i am getting ready to make myself a little snack to take to work because i am part-time now <laughs> y'all know i just keep talking about it because it makes my day every time i think about it but i'm getting ready to take a snack or make a snack to take with me to work today. I don't make a lunch to take because I leave at noon every day. And so I like to have a little snack though for like mid morning because girl get hungry, okay? She needs a little snack. I bought this watermelon yesterday, y'all, and it's, it's pretty good, but it's smaller than what I realized it was. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. in there isn't she pretty and I take this cute little bag every day it is actually from natural life which is where my dress is from which I share that with you all <clears throat> excuse me I got morning's voice uh, the girls at work gave me chipped in and gave me the dress from natural life for a, a men's day this was a little bag that Donna gave me um, Donna is a nurse from at work. She gave it to me for, or she gave all of us one. I think it was like for our birthdays. Like she was just like, I'm giving everybody a little bag for your birthday. Oh. And uh, so I usually carry that during the summer months because it's the perfect size to just put snacks in. It's a little small or if I'm going to, a little small if I'm going to make myself a full on lunch and I always take a few little walnuts I have these for a power snack as well and that's pretty much what I take with me I think this morning I want to make myself an egg sandwich because I'm feeling a little hungry I use the um, what is this? The sweet and buttery keto bread because it's low in carbs. And if you don't know, I don't know if I even said this on my channel or not, but um, between now and the time that I go on my trip, whenever that day is, I'm going to be trying to be an even more healthier version of myself. I am trying to just be cognizant of what I am putting in my body. Low carbs, not like no carbs, but low carbs, just trying to maybe hopefully, <laughs> if I'm lucky, lose about five pounds. I don't think it's gonna happen because I feel like I'm not dropping any weight at all. And I'm like, I'm not that I'm purposely barely eating, but I'm barely eating. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, girl, I may just be destined to have a poochie belly. That's what I really would like to get rid of. In case you're curious, and I might look snatched right now, I um, these leg this well the set the legging set actually came from Ross. Like I don't know, I've had it for a while. They always have some cute little legging sets, and sometimes you can snatch up a really good one. Um, this is a very good one. It's very strong. I don't have big girls, so my girls don't flop all over the place. So it gives me perfect amount of support. And um, the leggings they have a nice length to them. I mean they feel good. I don't feel like they're see-through or anything. I don't I don't think they are, at least I never noticed them to be. But um, what I do, did was put underneath it my little thumb body shaper thing, the little panties that I ordered from Amazon. Because it's black, it kind of gives the illusion that I'm wearing a one-piece suit, but I'm not. I have on three pieces all together, and I'm not wearing a bra or anything. Now, this doesn't have the cups in it for the padding. It's just um, just a very thick material. Like it's very, very thick. And it, like I said, it does definitely snatch me in. So um, yeah, I, I really like this. On Mondays, we tend to just wear black to work. And uh, 
I was kind of feeling like being a black girl today. <laughs> that sounded funny. I meant wearing the color black. I'm always a black girl, okay? But, um, yeah. Always a black girl. Born and raised, okay? Born and raised. At least that's what my birth certificate say. All right. I'm going to make myself... That a little bit too hard there. Almost messed up my egg. My neighbor, Kathy, my sweet, sweet neighbor, Kathy. I have the sweetest neighbor. Um, I took her to the grocery store yesterday. Her car is messed up. We had another horrible wind, rainstorm. Not really wind, but we had thunder, lightning, rain. You know, the, I just tied the bread back. Y'all, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> I'm having problems this morning, but this sometimes these can be this can be like the morning that I would have sometimes. Sometimes in the mornings, y'all, I just struggle to get myself going. I always say these would this would be a Monday that my period would start because I still have those weird symptoms. I don't know if any of my subscribers out there still have periods because I think we all up, up in our senior years. But if I do have anybody out there that is. Um, Still getting that little monthly cycle thing going on. Um, I was famous for having those times where I would just be like totally, totally, totally like just can't funk, funk, can't focus, can't function. So whenever I have mornings like this. I, I laugh and I say, yep, this will be that morning that the period will come on and I, or the week of, you know, where your body just, hormones get all out of whack, you can't think, you can't function. So I took my, uh, my sweet neighbor yesterday to H-E-B. Unfortunately, her car is messed up and Bless her heart, she's been struggling with her car. I feel so bad. But um, I was kind of glad that I got the opportunity to take her to H-E-B because I learned something that um, I didn't know. I learned about H-E-B giving away free stuff on Sundays. <laughs> now, if any of y'all live in my area and you're lucky enough to have an H-E-B, ATP gives away something free every Sunday. I did not know that. She shared her free tomatoes with me, which was super sweet. Like, I was just like, honey, you don't have to do that. But she is a doll. Like, she is definitely, her love language is to give because she is a giver. It's hard for her to receive, I think. If I had to, if I had to pinpoint, I'd say it was hard for her to be a receiver. She's more of a giver. And um, so when I had offered a while back to take her anytime she needed, because she's really been having some issues with her car. So I always have let her know because she looks out for my place when I'm on vacation. Um, she looks out for my packages. I mean, she's a really sweet person. So when her car started acting up a while back, I was like, honey, if you ever need a ride anywhere or something, you know, just, you know, give me a shout out. Like, you know, because on the weekends, a lot of times I'm just chilling here in the house and I'll be happy to oblige, you know? I think my whole camera is probably really crooked. Has this whole thing been filmed crooked? It may have been, y'all. I don't know. But anyhow, if it, yeah, she's a sweetheart. I love her to death. Um, and I would be happy to take her to the store anytime I'm available because like I said she's a sweetheart but yeah I'm so thankful she shared her tomato with me so I just made myself it's an egg and tomato sandwich <laughs> because I'm hungry this morning actually I think I'm gonna toast it a little bit all right so I'm down to more slices of bread and then I have the ends okay comment below and tell me do y'all eat the ends to bread I know some people say that they love this part of the bread 
I typically don't eat it, but what I do is if I make like meatloaf or something like that, I will use that bread in my meatloaf because it helps hold it together. And then you don't have to buy breadcrumbs. <laughs> but yeah, keep that bread in the refrigerator. I feel like I'm doing this whole video and the footage is just so blurry. Okay, so I decided that I am going to make myself an iced coffee this morning. I'm gonna have a hot coffee. I'm actually gonna have an espresso this morning because I feel like that's gonna serve me better this morning since I'm having, you know, a few issues this morning of trying to get myself together. But I bought this, let me show you this. I'm trying this Starbucks dark roast. It's a premium instant. I, during the pandemic, you remember when everybody was making the iced coffees and um, they were doing it with instant coffee. Well, I got on that bandwagon because I was like, let me try it. And then I fell in love with it. One and a half teaspoons. Take that off the top. And then you mix just a little bit of water. And not to get to be able to blend. I'm gonna get this off. I'm gonna get this off. I'm gonna get this off. And then you blend. And you blend, and you blend, and you blend some more. Almond, oh wait, I don't have my sweetener in there. Go get some sweetener. I just put a few pumps of vanilla sweetener. And this is the almond milk unsweetened. Let's see, I don't know if... Let's see how it comes out. Mmm. I actually think that one's better than what I remembered. That's really good. Thought I would show you all my little fit for today. I think I might do a TikTok on this or a short. I'm not real sure yet. But um, this oversized man shirt came from the Goodwill. Terry picked me up. I'd asked her to pick me up a couple of t-shirts. I said like a long sleeve one, maybe in the short sleeve one. Well, I said a couple of white ones, a long sleeve one and a short sleeve one, and then a denim one. And she thought I meant I wanted two of everything, but she was like, I could only find one denim one, but then I have all these white shirts. And I was like, oh my God, I don't need all these white shirts, but I love this denim one. It is such a cute shirt and it's a good brand. And I just love the fit. And so I think it pairs very well over top of something that I'm not comfortable with. I don't have the body for uh, to wear without. In my opinion, of course, this is my opinion. You, Anybody can wear whatever they want to wear and however they want to look. But in my opinion, I, I like to cover up. Um, and so, yeah, thought it looked really, really cute. I decided not to make myself an espresso and I'm eating on my egg sandwich before I go to work. <laughs> mm, it's so good. Mm, 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 mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Okay, I've made it to work. And I thought I would just come on and officially end the vlog. I think I mentioned I did not, I ended up not making the Nespresso. I just have the iced coffee. It is so good. I put a couple of pumps of vanilla flavoring in it. Mm. The sugar-free vanilla flavoring. So, so good. It hit the spot. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this very impromptu video. I have no idea what made me turn on the camera, but I felt like turning on the camera this morning and I did. So I'll see you all in the very next one. Bye-bye.